Uh, my name is Sanjay Gupta, I'm a cardiologist in York. Today's video is on the subject of blood pressure and in particular how aging affects our blood pressure. Uh, this is particularly important because our blood pressure and the normal values of our blood pressure change as we get older. And unfortunately, at this point in time, the treatment of blood pressure is basically uh, based around whether you hit, whether you're above one number or not, right? So unfortunately, someone who is 90 with a blood pressure of 150 over 90 will be given pills much like someone who's 20 with a blood pressure of 150 over 90. And actually, that worries me because older people have a different range of blood pressure which is normal for them uh, because they're older so if we can appreciate exactly how our blood pressure changes then we can be a little bit more sophisticated and discerning as to who to treat and who not to treat so let me show you how blood pressure changes with excess uh, with age i'm going to use a glove so i'm going to be trying and try and be innovative today and i'm going to show you how blood pressure changes now let me show this to you okay I'm going to blow some air into this glove now. Now, you see, now me blowing air is a bit like the heart pumping blood. And the heart pumps blood out into our aorta, which is this big vessel here, this vessel there. And that aorta will then give off branches and smaller branches and smaller branches, etc. So as we get older, okay are uh, the amount of effort we need to uh, exert to push the same volume of blood in is greater. That is because as time progresses with age, you get wear and tear and stiffening of our blood vessels. So the first blood vessels that start stiffening are the smaller blood vessels. And then as time progresses, even the bigger blood vessels will start stiffening. And therefore, this becomes less compliant, less elastic, and therefore the same amount of volume that is pumped out causes a higher pressure in there. So what we know is that the systolic blood pressure goes up as we get older. Okay, So the systolic blood pressure will start going up from when we're 30 and progressively go up as we get older and older um, because of this wear and tear and the stiffening that occurs in our blood vessels. Now, that is your systolic blood pressure. So it is a natural consequence of aging that our systolic blood pressures have to be higher because of the wear and tear. What about the diastolic blood pressure, the lower value? That's very interesting. I'll show you again. I'll blow this up. Now you see, in the diastolic blood pressure, you, the heart is closed because the diastolic blood pressure is when the heart is relaxing. So at that point, the heart is closed, okay, and the aortic valve is closed. And the pressure in this balloon, in this glove now, is purely not to do with what you're pushing in, but due to the elastic recoil of these of the balloon, you know, the elasticity, the, the recoil of the, uh, the, the, the glove is what dictates how much pressure is in there. So when our blood vessels start getting harder and stiffer and as a result of wear and tear, as I've mentioned earlier, the smaller vessels start getting affected first and then as time progresses, the bigger vessels get affected. So as the smaller vessels get affected, what will happen is these blood vessels get harder. So now what will happen is that the pressure in this goes up because these blood vessels are harder. They don't stretch as much because of wear and tear. And so the pressure goes up. So your diastolic blood pressure will initially, as you're getting older, up to the age of 50, go up in the same manner as this, your systolic blood pressure. But then as the wear and tear progresses to the bigger vessels, now, because the bigger vessels are affected, you don't get as much recoil right because the recoil is what decides the pressure so because the recoil is no longer as uh, effective because the stiffness has spread all the way through the diastolic blood pressure starts falling so the systolic goes up with age the diastolic goes up around about to when you're between 50 and 60 and from 60 the diastolic starts going down 
And what that then means is that the pulse pressure, the difference between the systolic and the diastolic gets bigger as we get older. Now, the problem with this is this, that if you start treating the elderly aggressively because uh, for blood pressure, then what tends to happen is you try and hit the systolic, but you then end up pushing the diastolic even lower. Now, the diastolic is already low, and the diastolic blood pressure is important because during diastole, we still need to get blood up to our brain. We still need to get the blood into our coronary arteries. In fact, our coronary arteries fill during diastole. So if the diastolic is pushed too low, then that is a big problem because it means less blood to the brain and that can cause people to fall. And therefore, when we over aggressively treat the elderly with blood pressure, we risk falls. And most studies suggest that if you treat the blood, the diastolic blood pressure, if you lower the diastolic blood pressure too aggressively, you do a lot more harm than good. So I hope this helps understanding what happens to blood pressure as we get older. I'd love to hear your comments. Thank you so much for listening.